Hello everyone and welcome to my new video and what is this video about? Well, I'm going to chop up a breakbeat uh, using Ned effects and take lanes in Ableton. As some of you know, I like to chop breakbeats up, especially one in particular, and it's been a while since I've done it, so I'm going to do it now. Take lanes is a feature that has been in Ableton for a while now, but it's not been something that I've explored yet in a video, although I explored it pretty much exclusively for an album I released just over a year ago called Lager Rinse Repeat, which is available on Acid Chicken Records in Hong Kong. I'll put a link in the description. I was only given three weeks to make that album, so I went into a bit of a panic and thought, I don't really have time to faff about how can I make this faster. So I thought I'd use Take Lanes, and Take Lanes is basically a way that you can compile various takes into one super take. So what I did was is I got all of my sort of ideas and ran them through a load of effects, resampled all of those effects in various stages and then comped together the bits that I liked. It was super fast, super quick and really satisfying and I'm going to do that now. So I have here my favourite breakbeat, which is at 100 BPM, but let's go up to 160. It's Tuesday. But actually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sort of, um, I'm going to put this into simpler and I'm just going to sort of explore a few ways that we can kind of take a simple loop and add just a tiny little bit of variation to it using just MIDI to start with. The way that I approached that record was that I sort of started with a foundation, what I would call like a foundation or a head or the home uh, like groove of of like a song and then I would start to mangle it and edit it and then kind of bring it back kind of like jazz kind of like a jazz standard but with breaks with break call I'm not going to do that all right now but I'm just going to sort of touch on a few things that you can explore when slicing up breaks I'm, I, I've put this break beat into simpler now and I've set it to slice and I'm going to go to beats and I'm going to set this to one over one over eight so they're all sliced into eighth notes. I'm going to delete that one. Don't want that one. Okay, so I'm just going to like go in and make like a very simple MIDI clip here. Uh, let's turn the little blue headphone on. Find the ones I want. That one. Okay, uh, let's go into eighth notes. And I'm just going to make like a fairly simple sort of pattern like this. Okay, and then I'm going to select all of that. I'm going to go duplicate. And then for this last bit, I'm just going to move all those there and there like that. Okay. Give it a bit more whack. So that's um, a, a, an aim and break that I resampled a long time ago, quantized, chopped, did a bit of EQ and resampled it, made a loop out of it. All of the transients are exactly where I want them so I can drop it in whenever I want. I've turned the warp on. Set the divisions to one over eight. We've done that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the random and I'm just going to use the random to just play random slices. Um, I'm going to give it a choice as a three. Um, I'm going to set this, uh, the sign, whatever that is. What does it stand for? It just stands for sign. Um, so you can either go above, below or above and below. So let's go to buy, which is above and below. I'm going to set the choices to three. And when I start to dial in the chance, you'll hear how it's just adding little bits of variation. Okay, I'm going to dial that in now. Okay, so you can just see how it's just adding a little bit of variation. So where do I go from here? Well, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something that I wouldn't normally do. I don't think I've ever done in a single video I've done. And I'm going to go into the arrange view. Let's delete um, that. And act, let's. Uh, I'm going to do command X to cut that clip. I'm going to go to the session view and I'm going to paste this in here. And I'm going to paste it in for something like um, let's go with 32 bars. Okay, let's hit that little button. Okay, so actually probably what I want to do is actually start by just having no variation at all. Um, so maybe what I might do is uh, maybe I'll just like freeze. Maybe I'll just freeze this. Um, let's give it, let's give it a name 
first. Let's just call it Amen uh, 1. Let's just call it Amen 1. Okay, I'm going to freeze that. Um, and then I'm going to create a new MIDI track here. And I'm going to drag that frozen track to there. Gosh, it's very quiet, isn't it? Maybe I should have done a little bit of... No, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so um, let's unfreeze this. And, uh, oh, we've lost our clip. Hang on a minute. I haven't thought this through. <laughs> um, okay, maybe I, I should have done drag. Okay, I did alt. I need to do alt and drag. Okay, so now I've dragged that over. Okay, that's fine. Now, um, uh, it didn't really give us the name. That's fine. And you know what? I'm not too concerned with the name then. Let's, let's, go, let's go show take lanes. Um, Let's go show ta insert take lane. Okay, so now we've got a take lane. Let, let's rename this clip here, this top one. Let's just call this one Amen One. And then uh, for this one, let's go. Let's unfreeze this track. Uh, unfreeze the track. Thank you. And then we'll we'll put in our. Let's put in forty percent chance. Let's mute our frozen track. Here. Okay, let's freeze that now. Let's see if this works. This I wasn't actually planning to do this, but let's just see if it works anyway. Let's freeze that track. Okay, let's grab it. Let's hold Alt, drag it down. And let's sort of zoom in a little bit and see if maybe, yeah, they are different. So let's mute that track for a second. Let's go, let's unmute our uh, track with our frozen ones on. And we can listen to the top. So that's our straight one. And then we can hit this little button here hear the one with our variations on okay that is cool right so we're already getting somewhere let's um uh, let's call this amen two okay i'm gonna go i'm gonna go back to this one i'm gonna unfreeze it and now i'm gonna put some net effects in net effects is a suite of max for live devices that i released not long after i made that album um which you can buy i'll put a link in the description and let we'll just i'll just start adding them in We'll start with a repeat. So the way that these all work is that um, they're all sort of little uh, kind of boutique effects <laughs> that work with probability and you set how much you want each clock division um, uh, to... You know what, I can't remember how to explain it. This is a like a clock divider and this will determine how often the... The, the rate at which the effect will happen and the duration of it and also the probability at which it will happen. So currently there is a 100% chance that I'm going to get a dotted second note and it will repeat. If I put this to... You know how that's repeating like that? Let's put that chance back up to 40 so we can... Okay, let's set that back to sort of 64. So I'm going to, um, uh, I was thinking maybe I would do this in sort of various stages of kind of like, you know, a fairly standard one, then one with a little bit of wiggle, then one with increased wiggle, and then one with extreme wiggle or jiggle or juggle or glitch or whatever you want to call it. So I'll go with kind of moderate. Let's pull in, um, we can do this all while this is playing, pull in some of these effects. The reverse is good bit of reversing like that let's bring in the roll the roll's popular pull this down a little bit to I don't want them to happen too often so we'll just pull the chance down a little bit Okay, let's keep going. Let's find some more. Uh, maybe let's go for the... Where's the pitch? Yeah, the pitch does like pitch rolls. It samples it and does little pitch rolls. I basically made all of these things so that I can make break chord. Really. Oh. Yes. 
Uh, let's bring in the flanger. Let's put the flanger here. Oh my goodness me. All right, let's do the stretch now. delete the flanger it's too loud <laughs> might need to address that in an update um let's uh, the whiz the whiz is good let's put the whiz um let's put the whiz before the stretch okay and the, the scratch as well i want the scratch in there where's the scratch the scratch can go after the stretch before the repeat they're all kind of designed to be chopped and changed and moved and put into different places and different orders and stuff like that it's experimental sound design stuff all right now let's see let's make let's insert a new take lane here and then let's freeze this and just to uh, see what we get okay Okay, and then I'm going to drag that to here and mute our frozen take lane and go to this and just see what it's given us. So, the first thing I'm going to do um, is minimize this and concentrate on this. So, we've got Amen 1, Amen 2, and we'll call this one Amen 3. And what I'm going to do now is that I, I've, the Amen 1 is the straight loop, which we can, which we can listen to by disabling um, the little speakers on the take lanes here. And then we just hear the top one. So that's kind of like the foundation that's kind of like a safe place that we can go back to and it's kind of vibey and like you know it's not too not too much for some for some people this type of music's a bit much and i understand that now that i'm getting older but let's move on to amen 2 which has got some subtle variations in it and um you know i might maybe like to turn the metronome on have it fairly quiet and then I'm just sort of going to go through and listen for things where I think that in the context, maybe they, they could add something. So let's, let's just try and do that now. Okay, that bit was good. Okay, so I'm just going to select that bit and hit enter on my keyboard and boom, it's gone to the top take. Actually, I'll tell you what, let's make them all different colors. Then we can, it can be a little bit more obvious let's make this one um that color and let's make this one uh this color so now we can sort of see that they're all uh fairly different cut well they will be when they're highlighted like that yeah so now we can see that they're all fairly different colors and then we'll be able to see the um you know the edits that we're doing so let's uh, go through that again if i lost that point okay it was maybe that's Let's take that bit. Yeah, let's just put. So I'm going to select that bit, hit enter, and boom, it's moved up to the top take. And then I'm just going to keep going along and just, and just listening for bits that I like and just adding them in. That bit was good. Let's just select that, hit enter, ping it to the top. Uh, that bit was. Yeah, let's put that bit in. Um. I'm just going to go through and just chop and change. Yeah, that way was good. Okay, and this bit, let's go, let's go from here. That bit was good. Let's put that in. Let's go here. Let's keep going. Okay. Okay, that bit. 
yeah, that's fine. Let's keep going. Okay, let's go that bit again. Oh, that bit was good. Yeah, these are all just little variations, but they, they mean something to me when I'm hearing them in context, you know. Well, that bit was good too. Okay. Okay, that, about, that last bit was good too. Okay, so, so if we come out of that lane now, we can see kind of the edits that we've done. And we've actually, we've actually added in quite a lot. But if we listen to this, um, we'll hear the, what we've put in. Okay, that's good. So now let's go to the third take, which is the one that's got all the sort of more extreme wacky stuff on it, uh, which we can even see is pretty wacky just by just by looking at it. Look at that first one. So maybe that even just so this is when I start to get very surgical and I kind of like, oh, even just that little reversey bit was good. Let's put that in. Let's put that, let's put those pitchy ones in. <laughs> well that's actually coming so we can think that now that we're actually coming to the end of like eight bars here so that whole section could be quite a nice let's actually just put that bit in oh that bit was... yeah the reversey bits i like yeah what about that yeah, let's put that in. Okay, so you can see, really, I've I've got my I've got my thumb on the space bar. I'm left-handed, so I'm doing the keyboard with my right hand. I got my thumb on the space bar, and I got my little finger on on the um, enter key. So I can just very quickly just select bits, hit enter, select bits, hit enter, select bits, hit enter. It's really nice. It's quite relaxing. It's not too much stress. Well, that bit was good too. Yeah, let's put that in. Oh, what have I just done? Undo. I selected the wrong bit. This. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, let's put that bit in. Oh. Yeah, let's put that. <laughs> so I'm already, I'm probably pro pretty much ruining the whole <laughs> the whole song but like i don't care it's satisfying let's put that bit in so you just find these little bits that are fun and that stretchy bit's good all that fade in there was good Okay, this is all good. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, that bit's good. Oh, yeah, that definitely that bit on the end. Okay, so this is just for demonstration purposes only. Obviously, you can um, be a little bit more surgical and be a bit more meticulous with this. I'm just trying to do this very fast to show you how easy it is actually to do things quite quickly. So let's listen to our final comp take without the metronome on. Oh, let's go back to the start.
I'm already thinking that that last bit could maybe even do with a little bit more. Let's just put that bit in for a laugh. Oh, I, I hit delete, not enter. There we go. Right, it's it's there. Maybe. So this bit actually, maybe I could just sort of take that and just move it there. Yeah. So we don't actually have to hit enter. We can just grab bits and move it. But it's, okay, that's fine. Let's. Oh, I already used it there already. <laughs> okay, never mind. So let's, that's all fine. Let's hide the take lanes. And now we've got like our final take. And uh, I'm going to unfreeze this track and keep it muted. And now I'm going to resample this to the top track with um, with perhaps some, some, some compression on it. Maybe I'm going to drum bust it like an idiot, make it really boom. go back to the start okay let's resample that to this resample channel i've got here um let's set the in and out points with the loop markers put the out point there and hit go and record it all right It's done. We made some break call. Um, okay, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, take lanes. I'm going to do um, a follow-up video to this where I'm going to be using MIDI, MIDI to do take lane MIDI stuff. So MIDI, generative MIDI processing, and then um, using take lanes to edit together bits that it generated um, whilst kind of staying within a certain framework of a melodic idea. So kind of... Y y you come up with like one idea and then you use these kind of random processes to embellish it and then you kind of plop those good bits on top of it so it's it's not like just an entire splodge of, of random stuff it's just little little injections of funk here and there you know okay so i'm going to go and put this on my patreon now uh, where if you'd like to support me you will be able to download that and plus all kinds of other things and hang out with people and have a nice time and enjoy yourself. See you next time. Bye.